тьме, в тьме голубой ёкой, да в тайге, тайге широй ёкой, старая дерево стоит. Hey guys, today I want to have a look into water towers. There are so many amazing, monstrous, beautiful structures and one thing they have in common, which should not be a surprise to us all, to us all the one thing that they have in common is that most of them were built in one year. So let's just check out these beautiful structures and yeah have a look into how and when they were built. Unfortunately, the most information I found on a lot of them um, is in German, but yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna tell you what it says here. So this beauty, it is situated in Breslau and yeah, it was built in the year of 1905 out of red brick. Here, this is it. A lot of them rem resemble castle-like style. Just amazing. Next up, we have this beauty. It is situated in Vienna, Austria. This is how it looks. Again, we see this typical style. Just such an amazing structure. We have huge doors, of course. And again, it was built in one year. And funny enough, um, this water, to water tower was rehabilitated in 1988 and 1990. The reconstruction of the roof ornaments proved particularly time consuming as they were redone in the original style using glazed roof tiles in five different colors. And yeah, just from this little note, you see just just the roof thing. Um, the ornaments proved to be super time consuming, let alone that originally it was built in one year. Yeah, sure. Next off, we have this beauty. Again, the same style. It says that specific construction works were carried out between 19, 1898 and 1899. Again, one freaking year. Next off, we have this cathedral style, castle style looking water tower. Here it looks like a bit of facading. So we don't know how far down this goes. Uh, here we have a plaque with the griffin. It says 1903. And yeah, again, it was built in 1903. That's, that's that. That's that. And six years later, it was shut down. On construction, what they say is just that it was the base was made out of natural stone and the structure out of brick. Then they just describe, you know, the 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 details on what is in there. Nothing on the actual construction. 
Next off, we have this very interestingly looking tower in Germany. And on this, there's not even any construction information. Um, here it says that the waterworks are in, you know, working since 1896. And yeah, it's, it just says that it started working in 1896. That's, that's it. Here we have another one in Berlin, Germany. And yeah, again, it was erected in 1881. And that's it. That's just it. One year. Very similar in the style to the first one. And again, built from 1904 to 1905, one frickin' year. I mean, look at that thing. If you only look at this part down here, this could be like a normal church, so to speak. But then, what's going on? What's going on up here? Just amazing. Another one in Germany. Again, it would not surprise me if that goes further down. And again, erected in 1901. That's, that's it. That's it. Here we have another one in Germany. This is beauty. Here we have a picture of what it looks inside. A little bit of scale. And here we have an old picture of it. Just mind-boggling. And again, it was finished in 1890. Yeah, let's just uh, quickly browse through some of them just to see the different variations and style. And they remind me of watchtowers, for sure. Really interesting entrance here. Maybe a later on addition. Maybe this all were just windows. And this thing is way higher originally. Just amazing. And keep these uh, shapes in mind. Just beautiful. This one is in Barcelona. Interesting modern antenna on top on here, of here. A lot of antennas actually. And I think it was said a couple of times that usually um, the combination of white and red brick um, signalizes something to do with water. The pumping stations were also a lot of them clad in black and white, uh, black and white, uh, red and white. I mean, we find this throughout different 
different buildings, but yeah. Um, this one is in Budapest. Another wonderful one. Interesting they have these similar entrances. Um, what is it called? A, a portico? I'm not sure. <laughs> you know, the triangle on top and yeah. They seem to have these temple, temple-ish entrances. This one also seems pretty old. Another one from Germany. Just amazing. These are so massive. Another one from Germany. Here we see this very uh, minty, light mint color. From the old world, old world. This one we had a look at, again, Germany, Germany, Germany. Also Germany. I mean, they were not only holding water in there, they were also distribu distributing, they say, the water through gravity things. Um, so it was not only a holding place for water, but it also was like a hydraulic system. Another one in Germany. Here we have one from Holland. This looks a little bit more creepy, <laughs> just speaking by the design. It reminds me of the industrial um, brick structures in old Germany. I think I covered them in my, and some of my videos I made about the dystopian architecture or architecture of doom. Yeah, this one is in Madrid. This one is in Minsk. We have a similar similar one here in in the capital of Moldova. Netherlands seems like a smaller one. Poland. They really like these very tall um, square shaped columns. Just amazing. This one doesn't, no, I'm not gonna do that. Here we have one from Sweden. One from the UK. Also one from the UK. Again with the antennas, the, the modern antennas on top. I mean UK? Seriously? Wouldn't that fit better somewhere, I don't know, maybe in Spain or Portugal? Another one from the UK. Here we have a, I don't know, this looks, this reminds me of Disney. <laughs> Here we have one from the USA. Definitely some new facading on top. Probably red brick under that. Another one from the USA. So that makes me wonder about 
tower-like structures from other places in the world. I just wanted to um, share this these with you too because it reminds me of it. I mean, about these kind of structures, they often say they were like tombs or some sort of a temple. Um, but I'm honestly not sure about that. I mean. Look at this one from Berlin. It really heavily reminds me of this kind of shape. This is from India. We see a lot of destruction going on around. And most of the time, these structures are in the middle of nowhere. Here we have another giant brick building with a dome in the middle. This one is from Azerbaijan. Here we have some from the Caucasus. Again, really interesting shape on top here. This one looks more um, angular. These look a little bit rounded. Here we have one from China. I don't know, what, what do you think, guys? Does that, does the, do these remind you of these water towers? You see nothing around here anymore, just this huge thing. There are probably some, um, what, what is now tunnel systems, um, like water systems underneath that to distribute the water. Again, here we have one from India. And funny enough, on top we have something that looks like an urn. Could be representing water flowing out of it. This seems so out of place, in my opinion. But yeah, this is tech. I mean, we know this is tech. And this is probably not the base of it. Just stones, like building materials, basically, lying all around here. Here we have one from Iran. They look so similar to the dystopian ones just because of the angular um, style here. But yeah, these to me, screen water towers. Here we have one from Iraq. Again, just rubble all around here, probably from the other destructed um, buildings. Here we have one from Iraq. Just this little guy on his horse, this thing standing in the middle of nowhere. And what's fascinating is, is that it doesn't seem to be hollow inside, so I don't know about that. But this also reminds me um, of the Tower of Babel kind of just swirling around. Maybe the Tower of Babel was a water tower. Who knows? Maybe it was a petrified tree stump that they, you know, made into this tower. Who knows? Here we have another one from Iraq. And just the intricacy of, of using this building material. Here it's all bricked up random little column lying around here and again just the rubble all around <laughs> here we have another one from iraq windows bricked up completely destruction all around you find nothing base heavily or yeah that part that sticks out of the ground probably heavily damaged 
but it's still standing. Here we have one from Yemen. And we can see definitely here brickwork, huge dome in the background, some stones probably put in here to stabilize it maybe or maybe that's the the base but it looks a bit short to be honest and if these things if they're not water towers or some of them are and some of them not because if they're filled in and if they're still standing maybe they were sort of like a bunker you know um because if they're the last thing that stands, nothing around, nothing is around. Like you see from the others, there's just like, um, just rubble all around. Were these sort of bunkers where you could also store, um, you know, not underground, but uh, towards the sky bunkers where you could store water and they were very, very um, solid. So they would withstand any kind of earthquakes or floods or things like that. Just wondering. That's it, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me. I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye.